Hi, and welcome to Brush Tips with Sherry. Today, I have a special treat for all of you amazing artists out there. We are going to be using some super cool techniques on this one. This is a super fancy flower. That's what that is. And it's done in turquoises and blue and brown with a little bit of black and white accent. You can see we don't have the canvas all the way painted either, which it makes it really, really cool. So today, our colors are going to be turquoise, phalo blue, black, burnt umber, white, and I do have yellow on there because I did think about adding a little bit of yellow, but I don't know if I want to today or not. So again, it's totally up to you what colors you use. I want you to use all your favorite colors and get creative. We're also going to be using this, which is our special treat, super fun to work with. You can get it at any local craft store. This is extra heavy gel. This is a gloss finish. So this is actually gonna give your painting a little bit of texture and a glossy finish wherever you use it. And it just colors the same way as paint does. So what I did was I added a little bit of paint to this and then I went ahead and I mixed it up with a butter knife or a toothpick, whatever you have, and then I just added it right in there. All right, so let's get started. So the very first thing, oh, our brushes, we better talk about our brushes. Of course, we have three brushes. We always like to have three brushes. I have our big daddy right here. He's gonna be doing most of the work, like always. Then we have this guy right here, which is like a medium squared brush. We have this nice fine pointed brush here. So we got a little straggler, straggler. So let's start off with this big daddy here. All right. So what I want you to do is grab some of this brown, just a little tiny bit on your brush. I want you to pick where you want the center of your flower to be. It's going to be an oval shape. So just start to go in an oval position and then voila. You can color it all in if you choose. There we go, perfect. Awesome. Then we're gonna clean off that brush real good. And I just want you with your first layer, and you can grab chalk and do this. Actually, you know, for our friends who are, oh, maybe not, we might not grab chalk because I don't think I have any. I didn't bring any. So pretend like this is chalk. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add some petals real quick like this like this now when you get to this point I want you to turn your canvas because I don't want your petals to be kind of crazy and don't forget you can overlap petals too Oop, we didn't have one coming down that way so we're just gonna make a little tiny one here make it this way and then we'll bring out another little one here. And again, flip your canvas, flip it. And you can always, once we start building these up, you're gonna see how we'll end up making it look like there's a couple different um, layers of flowers on here, okay? So let's start with this. So we're just gonna grab some of the blues I'm going to grab some of the turquoise and some of the phalo blue, kind of mix them together with a little bit of white. And all I'm going to do is just start feathering that in. I'm not finishing the bottom, okay? Here's like a little tiny guy back here. Let's just add this little guy in. And then I want you to bring this guy over top of it. Okay? We've got this real light guy back here real light and then you can even add this guy in here I like how I call it a guy maybe I'm calling it a guy actually this is my I painted this the other day with 
a friend and my husband absolutely loved it so we can kind of dedicate this one to him right all right and then just keep going just keep building your flower obviously if you want your flower to be more white more blue you want to add purples please add purples add greens i want you to get creative here and i'm not finishing the ends and I'm also filling in through here. Good, there we go, perfect. Same thing here, and we'll let this layer dry. While this layer is drying, I do have to give my friend a shout out, Susan, who helped me decide. She came in and said, hey, let's paint this. She comes in and she really helps me like clear my any kind of mental block that I think that I might have with um, painting because that does happen. And she really helps me kind of clear that stuff out. So I do appreciate her very much and her great insight on paintings. So here we go. La la la. Now, obviously, there's a lot more petals on this one than there is with that one, and that's okay. It is okay. We can have as many petals or as less of petals as we want. Okay? No biggie. I'm going to grab a bunch of white and just add it to this because I don't want these so bright. I want them more white. Kind of clean this guy up. Shoop. Shoop. And then we don't even have to sing let it dry today. We don't because we're just going to let it dry. We're just going to let it go. We're going to let it dry. While we're playing with this background here. Okay. So kind of ring this around here. Pull some white up here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna clean off my brush real good. I'm gonna let this layer dry and I'm going to grab our little square guy right here. I'm going to mix some of this brown, a little bit of white, and maybe a little tiny, tiny little bit of black. You can see I kind of make a different whole mixture right here. Different color, fun. And then I'm just going to make a stem. And what I do is I actually don't finish it at the bottom either. I just kind of pull it down. You went a little bit thick here, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to let that dry. Clean off this brush. Get Big Daddy back out. You had it swishing around. That was craziness. Sorry about that. I want it super clean. I want this brush super clean. So I'm going to take a tiny, little tiny, tiny bit of black. I don't even know if you could see it on here. Tiny little bit of black. Put it right there. And I want you to scoop some of your white up and bring it over here. You see how dark that gray is? I'm going to grab more white because I almost want this to be perfectly white. Very, very, very super, super light gray. And I'm just going to start pulling down just to make it look like I'm painting on here. I don't want it to look all the way finished, just a little finished. Does that make sense? You can even hit your sides a little bit, clean off what's on your brush. Play with this in here, hit this with your, and then I want you to pull down from the top. So you see how I'm kind of pulling down from the top here, kind of bringing in some of this gray. There we go, perfect. 
We'll do the same over here. And just like this, and pull some of this down here. Let's look over here and see how this looks. Kind of have a little bit of a shadow here. I'm going to grab a tiny little bit more black because I just want to kind of throw a little shadow in. That's too much black. Grab some white. Check it out. Here we go. You can feather that white right up into this flower too. Just because it looks super cool. Okay. Clean off Big Daddy. Shake them off. Dry them a little bit. And let's feather some more of this in here. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. I love it already. This is a super fun, easy painting. So I'm going to grab this little guy again this medium guy, this one. And I'm just gonna grab some of this phalo blue and kind of mix it in with some of this white. And over here, I just kind of real lightly wanna kind of, you see those little swoosh marks there? Just to add some fun. Do you like my um, noises that I just made? <laughs> Why not, right? Why not? Perfect. Then I'm just going to fill in here. I just want to add a little layer outline um, of, I want to make this one look like it's kind of folding up. Grab some white. Just play around, okay? Just play around with this flower. Just have some fun with it. Check it out. It's looking fancy. All right. So now that I've got some of the petals outlined, kind of play with this a little bit. Go real soft. Real soft here. I love that green color that it makes. I'm gonna add some white. You can even grab a little bit of brown in there and just kinda pull off here. This is where I would add that yellow. If you did get yellow for your one of your colors, this is kinda where I would add that yellow at, is through here. And then I just wanna touch up I want to be kind of messy around here. I'm not going to get too messy. If you can see on the original painting, um, it does have like a rugged edge to it, almost to kind of break that stuff up. And I use the side of my brush here to add some different techniques here to the, to the, uh, flower okay sorry I just got lost in this little swirl because I I don't think I love it but at the same time I'm kind of like it kind of adds character so I guess we'll see here in a minute how that's gonna look this guy's looking pretty fancy though bring some of this white back in kind of eliminate the tips of these flowers that's what I want to do which there, I just added a whole bunch more blue. <laughs> I love how art kind of has a mind of its own, right? It's not what I want. It's whatever the art brush wants to do at the moment. <laughs> Let's feather some white down here. And we'll feather some white into here. It's looking fantastic. Of course, 
because you are all painting it with me. So I hope somebody sends me a picture of this one so that I can post it. I'd love to see all of your unique work. Let's get some white highlights in here. I'm going to leave this area. I really love it. I'm going to add this. Almost eliminate that whole petal. I'm not loving this spot here. Let's erase that too. Perfect. Perfection. Love it. Okay, let's play. Are we ready? Let's grab some of this. All you do is just clean off your brush really, really. It doesn't even have to be cleaned off real good. You just want it pretty dry. It's actually going to scoop up like, um, like putty. See how high it is off my brush? I'm not even sure if you can see that, but then I'm just going to feather it out real softly. See how I'm building? Build, build, build. And just keep doing it. I love it because every single one of my paintings, none are ever the same. And that's kind of the unique fun part about this art. Being an artist is it's however we see it, you know. It's not, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's however your brain interprets, interprets it. <laughs> Or however you are feeling at the moment. Sometimes I use a lot darker paints, like if I'm having more of like a rough day. Sometimes I use a, a lot of bright paints, even when I'm in a bad mood or sad or upset or depressed, whatever. I find that our art really, really helps with that kind of stuff. And just even adding the bright colors into it kind of help lift my mood. And just getting lost in a painting is amazing also. Just keep building here. I'm not sure. There we go. We'll just do this. Here we go. There we go. That should help, right? Here we go. Perfect. I love it. I love it. All right, I'm going to clean that. Let that brush sit. I'm going to save some of this for later if I want to touch up or not. If I want to add another layer. And we're going to take this brown and we're going to use the brown. All right. So I did pre-mix it, but I want to mix it a little bit more. And then we can even paint over it. So I'm just going to go real thick here. Give it that nice. Whoops, 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 whoops. So we're going a little crazy. That's okay. Then I'm going to go a little crazy in here with it. Just kind of add a nice layer. Doesn't have to be perfect. Then I also use this to just kind of highlight a little bit. Okay. And I'm just kind of dabbing around, just adding some texture. Again, you don't have to use this if you don't want to. But I would say run to a craft store, local um, craft store. They should carry it. They have a bunch of different kinds. If you ask somebody there to help you, like with, um, you can call it like paint medium or paint gel. And definitely ask them to come and help you with that. Just adding a little bit of browns. Very lightly. I'm barely even touching it with my brush. You know, you can always add more paint. You just can't take it away. I mean, sometimes people can, but it's better to not. <laughs> All right, I love it. I love it, love it. Let's clean, let's play with this spot right here a little bit. Little bit, little bit, little bit. 
Perfect. Love it. Ah. All right, I can't wait to see yours. I hope you go and get this stuff and use this because it's super fun. So I am gonna let this dry a second. I'm just gonna kinda fan it, fan it, fan it, fan it. Oh, you know what, and the bottom too. Make sure you hit your bottom. If you want, just use that real light gray color again. So clean off your brush real good. I've got all that gel in it. Clean it off and then just kind of hit it with the bottom here. It just makes it look finished or maybe it just makes you feel like it looks finished. It makes me feel like it looks finished. Perfect. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And do the same thing to the sides here. Just like it just adds a little, a little love. Just add a little love to it. Perfect. Then I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna highlight with the white and with the black also. I like to add those little highlights just to bring my painting alive. You know, we could walk around with a painting just like this and everyone's still gonna love it, but when you get to add those tiny little details, it makes a huge difference. Let it dry. Now this gel stuff does take a little while to dry. So don't go touching it right away. Of course, you can always grab your um, blow dryer and you can blow dry it, but you don't want it to crack. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this black on this rounded brush. We have another little flyaway. Oh my goodness. Oh, it didn't come out. It's like plucking. There it is, got it. Sometimes your brushes need a little plucking too. Not everyone can be beautiful, right? Without a little plucking. All right, so I'm just real lightly, barely touching, almost like I have the coffee jitters. Adding a little bit of black in. Perfect. It's funny because I feel like I paint so much better like under pressure and right now like doing the show and it has to be so many minutes and I feel like I paint my paintings always turn out a little bit better. I'm even going to mix a little black with the brown just to darken up some of the brown and add a little bit. Perfect. Yeah, what did I do here? He added a little bit through here. He added a little tiny black, brown color. Let's see here. Where else do I have some black, brown? You can even do a couple like little dots through here. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And a couple like squigglies. It just kind of adds Add some fun in there, right? I'm not gonna get carried away with it, cause I will, and then I'll add a whole bunch of black and brown. I'm gonna get mad at myself. And then I'll think the painting's ruined, even though it's not, but that's my brain. White, white, white. Grab some white. Nobody said I could sing, but I can paint, and that's what matters right now. All right. So all I do is just add some swigglies, just some fun swigglies. I'm using the side of the brush a little bit. And I'm gonna add just a little bit through here, just to brighten this up. I feel like we could hang this like in a doctor's office or something. What do you think? Like, I think it would be good anywhere, actually. I love it. Let's add a little bit more white in here. 
perfect. Love it. Love it, love it. I'm going to grab some blue. I'm just going to add a little bit of the dark blue with the white mix in here just to make it look like the flower is trying to connect. Oops, I just eliminated the black. It's okay. Pull some down here. I painted some real pretty daisies too over the weekend. Um, if you look on our Facebook page. Now, anytime you have any questions or you're just not sure or say you're at the store and you're like, what kind of paint should I use? Whatever. Feel free to shoot me a message, please. You know, go to our brush tips page. Um, ask questions. We're here to help you. We're here to make your painting amazing. And uh, just keep doing what you're doing. So final, final little detail with our little round brush. I want you to run it through some one of the colors. I used a little turquoise today. Seems to be pretty trendy. And all I'm going to do is down here, I'm going to add my little tiny initial right here. And voila, now I've made it my own. So I am super excited and can't wait to see your masterpiece. Thanks for tuning in.